Now we're joined here in the studio by Katie Swan, who was the youngest player in the ladies' singles draw at 17 years of age. I suppose congratulations for that. How was it playing in your first Grand Slam match? Yeah, I loved it. It was such a good experience for me. Um, I, I, I enjoyed it so much and hopefully I can come back a lot more times. Wimbledon, a special place for any tennis player, but particularly for British tennis players. How special was it for you playing on these hallowed courts? It was amazing. I, I'd been, I played here twice before in juniors, but it was my first time playing in the women's, so that was special for me. And I love just love playing in front of my home crowd. And you're playing in the juniors, um, which kicks off on Saturday again mm -hmm. this year. What would you say is the biggest difference between playing the junior events uh, and playing, uh, I guess, with the seniors? Um, with juniors, because I've been playing for a few years now, I know most of the girls and uh, I'm friends with them and I know how most of them play. And then I guess it's when I transfer onto the women's tour, I, I don't I only know the people from watching them on TV or like growing up with people as my idols. So it's completely different in that sense, walking around people who I'm used to, used to looking up to instead of actually playing against. What's that been like? You mentioned watching players on TV and now you're, I suppose, a colleague of them. You're yeah. working alongside them, playing alongside them at the, at the top level. Has that been something you've had to think about mentally, that these are the players I need to try and beat now because these are, this is the level I'm at? Yeah, definitely. In the last year, I've been looking at it that way more as they're my competitors now and uh, I need to do everything I can to try and beat them and to find out different ways in which I can do that. And how are you going to manage your schedule? You said you were playing in the juniors event. How are you managing your schedule now? Because you're still qualified to play in the juniors at your age. So yep. do you play mostly senior tournaments and then just the Grand Slams for the juniors? Or are you going to play a mixture of the two? Um, yeah, this year I've only done a few junior tournaments and I think it's going to become less and less uh, now. But I'll probably still play some of the slams next year, but I'll see how it goes. <laughs> now, in terms of your training setup, I know you've um, spent a number of years out in the States, in Kansas, mm -hmm. I believe. Yes. Um, where is it now? How is it now, the differences? You, I think you're based in London now with your coach, Julian. Yes, so, well, my family's still based in the States, in Wichita, and uh, when I'm not there, I, I train sometimes there and I train sometimes here in the National Tennis Centre. Um, yeah, because I'm with Julian, who's French, it's easier for him to be there than to, to be in America, so that's what I do. And do your parents come over and spend time here um, with you in those times? No, not really. They're over at the moment, but because of they've got some time off in the summer, but most of the time I'm training, I'm staying there by myself. Did you find that uh, living and growing up in, in another country and the international experience that you've had at a fairly young age has, has helped you for the touring life. You, you, you know what it's like to travel. You're not just one of the, a British player who stayed in Britain all their life and then suddenly has the, the whole wide yeah. world open to them. You, you know that. Yeah, I mean, I've been traveling alone since I was like 10, 11 years old, so I've definitely gotten used to it. And it's just something I do. It's, I don't really think about it anymore as it's just normal and I enjoy it as well. I love seeing new places and I love being here. So. And just before we let you go, we know that family friends with, with Bob Wilson, the, the mm -hmm. former England and Arsenal goalkeeper, achieved wonderful success uh, on the world stage in football. Uh, in your conversations or your time spent with him, how's he helped you for, for the career that lies ahead of you? Yeah, he's so inspiring. He achieved so many great things and uh, such a nice man as well. He's so humble and uh, I think that's great for me to have someone like that around me, supporting me. I'm really grateful to have him. Now, you're also an ambassador for the, the Willow Foundation. Yes. Could you tell us a bit more about that? Um, yes, yeah, so my mom knows Bob Wilson through his foundation and uh, she, so uh, we've become very close with him and his family and now I'm an ambassador for them. So I'll help out with the people who want to have, who use them for their special days when they're very seriously ill. and. Uh, so like this weekend or I think tomorrow maybe I'm meeting somebody who's coming to Wimbledon for their special day and I'll, I'll spend some time with them, like meeting them and stuff, which will be nice. Katie, it's a wonderful cause. Thanks mm -hmm. very much for coming, coming in here and telling us all about it. And commiserations for your first round match in the ladies, but at least I suppose you've got you. the, the juniors to look forward to and good yes. luck for your career. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Katie.